guys, I'm very happy to tell you that we come to an end on this block, thermodynamics block number two, which is just pure substances, a little bit on theory, a little bit exercises, diagrams, and so on. But just let me tell you, you just stumble to this video. Well, you should know by now properties of substances, general properties, phase changes, uh, boiling, condensing, saturation point, bubble, and dew points, so on. <clears throat> After that, you should know how to read pressure versus volume diagrams, pressure versus temperature diagrams, pressure versus temperature and volume surfaces. This is a very interesting one, 3D dimensional. You have pressure, volume, and temperature. You should know what's the critical point, what's the triple point, what's a gas, what's a vapor, what's latent heat, uh, and so on. You also so we also saw the vapor tables, which are for steam and water. Very interesting. They are saturated tables. They are superheated vapor tables. They are subcooled liquid uh, water, and so on. You should know also that we can get that data for refrigerants, and you should know that you may use interpolation, extrapolation, and other numerical methods to get data that is not directly reported on tables but that you may, I don't know, maybe suppose, and so on. Uh, enthalpy diagrams, very important. You should be able to read those and check out different reference states because sometimes you have zero Celsius liquid water as a reference state, but other times you have 25 Celsius as liquid water. So you must be sure that you have the same uh, reference. The good thing here is that if you're talking about change in enthalpy, it doesn't care because the reference is going to go away. By now, what you should have learned on the gases and state of equations is essentially how to work with ideal gases and how to work with real gases. Ideal gases, I'm probably sure that you knew already how to do it. Real gases maybe is a new topic for you. We saw the real equation, which includes some eccentric factor and other properties. We saw many personalized equations such as Beatty Bridgman, Ben Robinson, Benedict Webb Rubin, and so on. And on finally, I present you the C compressibility factor, which is, in my personal opinion, the best or easier one, uh, makes more sense, and works in general for every substance. And the law of corresponding states will help you a lot with the charts on the C compressibility factor. And eventually, you may use whatever equation you use, you may use the K rule for mixture of gases. So you have a mixture of gases, let's say oxygen and nitrogen, which is also known as air. Or maybe you have, I don't know, argon and xenon. You have a mixture of them. You could use the K rule to get some properties. And finally, a very important topic, which is enthalpy. We define enthalpy and other heat effects. The most important one, guys, that I want you to really, really check them out is sensible heat and latent heat. Those are the ones that we're going to work the most. But of course, there is heat of formation, how much enthalpy is needed to form a compound. Heat of combustion, how much heat you're going to get from combusting or burning. Heat of reaction, how much energy are you getting or how much energy are you losing in the system when you react something, some material. And heat of solution, which is essentially if you have previously added a, a, an acid or something in solution, you probably notice that the temperature increases or decreases or stays the same. And I think that's almost everything. Yeah, just let me give you the last introduction to this. This was pure substances block. If you think it was useful, you're probably ready to check out the first law of thermodynamics, which I love. But I wanted to give you first the, in, the insight on pure substances, because once you know how pure substances work and how to read the properties and how to model them, you are going to be able to fully understand the first law of thermodynamics. And this is block number three. Remember, it's, there are a total of seven blocks out there, so go check them out. And that's essentially everything guys, let me give you the textbook reference in a other video.
What's up guys? It's me, Chemical Engineering Guy. So if you like the video, why not push the like button? It really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or if I should be adding something, taking out content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring. So if you got any kind of friends, teachers, colleagues or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free, guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering, where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher, and the engineer get the best of each other. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.